A hearty good morning to all. From a new horizon book, I'll explain a lesson for you today. So turn page number thirty-three. In a page number thirty-three, we have lesson seven, Helen Keller. This is a biography of Helen Keller. The highlights of her life and career is mentioned in a lesson seven. So let's start a lesson. Welcome back to the lesson. Helen Keller was born in Alabama in the year eighteen eighty. She was a healthy little baby and showed signs of growing into a bright young girl. A year later, she was afflicted with a strange illness. It seemed that she might die, but she recovered. It was found that she was both blind and deaf. To lose one of the senses is bad enough, isn't it? But at once, at a time, if two senses are lost, it's a calamity. Okay. So what happened? For some years, very little improvement was there in Helen Keller's health. She had very serious illness. That's why it happened like that. All right. As the days passed, she began to recover her general health. But unfortunately, her senses of sight and hearing were gone forever. At the age of seven, a turning point came in her life. You know what happened? A visitor came in her house. Her name was. Miss Ann Mansfield Sullivan. She was the teacher of the deaf. Okay. What did the teacher do? She sat beside Helen and placed a doll in her hand. Then, very slowly, she spelled the letters. Which letters? D O L L. It's a doll, isn't it? Helen was interested in this finger play and began to imitate her teacher. Very soon, she learned to spell the names of things such as pen, hat, cup, and some words like sat, sang, and walk. All right. Later, she made a great discovery. What was that? She found that everything in this world has a name, and that discovery was linked with the word water. Okay, so Miss Sullivan poured some water over Helen's hand and spelled W A T E R. It's our water, isn't it? The young Helen at once realized that. Water means this cool liquid which was flowing over her hand. Like this, she started her journey into the world of sounds and speech. What was the most amazing and wonderful thing of Helen Keller? Do you know? She learned to understand what other people were saying. How? By touching their lips and throats. slightly with her finger tips slowly slowly she began to live an outdoor life as a normal person not only this she learned horse riding and swimming too it is not an easy task for a disabled person to enjoy the life as a normal person isn't it then also due to her self effort she comforted herself she began to study foreign languages such as french and german at college 
she was popular and happy with her fellow students and teachers she traveled all over the world and because of her special position she was an honored visitor in every country with her determination power and great effort she passed every obstacle every hardship every hindrance smoothly and became an outstanding example for the modern world the great american helen keller died on june 4 1968 like this our lesson is over till then keep on learning take care thank you